Hello and welcome to Red State Le Channel. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to make a sticky yet scrollable sidebar that auto stop when reaching the bottom. It's a little bit difficult to describe in words, so let's see the example here. Yes, and today's tutorial, we are going to work on that using only vanilla JavaScript. So ready? Let's check it out. And here is the example page we are going to work on. A flex display, two columns, one is main content, and another one is sidebar. And in this case, the sidebar has less content than the main div. And we want to make the sidebar stop scrolling and become sticky when users scroll to the end of the sidebar. First thing we're going to do is to add a div to wrap the content of the sidebar. and also need to update the current CSS to accommodate the wrapper we just added. Nothing changed to the page yet. Next, we'll work on the JavaScript. First, we'll get the sidebar using getElements by class name. And then get the sidebar content wrapper. Now inside the scroll event, which will trigger every time user scroll, we will need to get three values. First is the current scroll position. Next is the viewport height. And the final one is the content height. In order to know when user already scrolled to the end of the sidebar content, we will check if the current scroll position is larger than the content height minus by viewport height. Then add the fixed position to the sidebar wrapper to make it become sticky. And also remove it if the user scroll up. Now you will see that when users scroll and reach the end of the sidebar, the fixed position is applied. But here is another problem. It's a bit difficult to see so let me add the numbers to each div. Okay, as you can see, once the fixed position was added, the content becomes sticky, which is what we need but it also reverts the position back to the top. To fix this, we are going to add a negative translate y to move the content up. So we'll use the same value as the if condition to check the scroll, which is sidebar content height minus by viewport height. And also remove it when the user scroll up. Almost good. Now you will notice that the last div of the sidebar is too close to the edge. This because we didn't offset the top position of the sidebar itself. We'll get the position of the sidebar by using get bounding client rect.top. And then add it with window page y offset. And then add the value to both if condition and the translate y. Notice that we'll use the top position of the sidebar and not the content wrapper because the wrapper already has the translate y we applied. And here is the final result. Now 
That's all for this tutorial. You can download the source code at the link below. I also have the code written in jQuery version too, because it's much easier to read and maintain if you don't mind adding the library to your project as dependencies. So if you love this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next episode. Bye.